Hey, what's up guys? MKBHD here, back with Droid Dog, and today we're going to be taking a look at the finally released official Wikipedia app for Android. It was released today, of all days, January 18th, um, but it's available right now for free in the Android market, so you can check that out in conjunction with this post on the Droid Dog website. Let's go ahead and open it up. Basically what I've found in the time that I've been using it so far is that it is really, really similar to the Wikipedia mobile site. So you can see as we first open it up, it brings up a little bit of news here at the bottom and the featured Wikipedia article. It's a pretty fast app, by the way, if you haven't noticed. So I'll go ahead and search for something real quick here. They have a uh, search bar up at the top. We can go ahead and tap on what we want to search and sure enough, we get our article about uh, the company that we just searched or whatever Wikipedia article you search. This is just like the mobile version of the website. So what makes you want to use the app rather than the mobile version? Well, there's a couple of extra features. First of all, you can save the page for offline use. So say we go back up here and we want to search for, oh, I don't know, Android, the operating system, and we search, oh, we'll do the robot instead. Um, but Android, the operating system, or, okay, we're going to do the robot, and we want to save this for offline use. Now we're back on the operating system, and we want to save this page. And it's going to go ahead and download via your mobile connection the offline website. You can go through saved pages and uh, remove them or add them. Whatever you want, you can save for offline use. So that's uh, the first part of why you might want to use the app. Second, you have a nearby thing, and this is kind of cool. It'll look at your GPS location, as you can see by my notification bar. If we zoom in here, there are some Wikipedia articles about things that are nearby. So if I happen to be over here in New York, or even here on campus, you can view some notifications about, uh, let's see, there's a Wikipedia article about my school. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, and last but not least, there is history. And you can also read in different languages if you wish. But we'll go ahead and check out the settings. It's not that extensive, uh, but you can change the font size and the language that you read in. But yeah, this is version 1.0 of the Wikipedia application for Android. Uh, if you want to check it out, like I said at the beginning of this video, it is free in the Android market and uh, definitely worth a look if you're using a third-party client right now. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.